today we are at Phil Foster Memorial Park. Let me just tell you, if this is not on your bucket list in the state of Florida, it needs to be. This place is absolutely amazing. And I promise you by the end of the video, you are also going to agree. So let's get started. Now there is no overnight parking allowed here unless you have a boat trailer and a boat. Then the max is 24 hours. There are bathrooms throughout. Um, there's one, two, three, I believe three bathrooms throughout. They also have showers here to rinse off afterwards and get the sand off. They've got uh, a really cute playground for kids. So let's go ahead and check out all the amenities and then get in the water and see what this place has to offer. If you bring a boat and you're launching, and by that I mean a motorized boat, you have a boat trailer. The limit is 24 hours to park in this parking lot. If you do not have a motorized boat and a trailer, then there is no overnight parking. Kind of sucks because, you know, Peanut Island is right there and camping, but you can't park in this lot. So let's take a peek at both parking lots so you know which one is what. This one we're first going to look at is going to be the parking lot for the boat trailers. They will tow you. So if you come here and all the regular parking is full and you try to park in this lot, you're going to get a ticket. Have plenty of space. And they do have some, so right here, they do have a few trailer parking in the regular lot as well. But they do have plenty of space. Now you are also not allowed to launch your kayaks or your paddle boards from the ramp right here. This is strictly for motorized boats. Launch your paddle board or kayak, you're going to do it under the bridge right here. This whole area where the playground is, this entire length you can launch from. That's the beach access. And then this, all through here, all around here, is your regular parking, and then also up through this area. So just make sure when you come, you're paying attention to which direction you're going. You're not parking in the boat trailers, because like I said, they do have, you know, regular dock slips. Now, for regular parking, you do not need to pay. That is only if you are launching a boat you will actually get your slip and have to pay for the parking and the launch fee. If you're not launching a motorized vessel, then it is free to park here. But again, there's no overnight. They do have areas as well where you can sit. They've got picnic tables, they've got grills throughout. There's some more over here with the gazebo areas. So please guys, throw your trash on the ground. So disgusting. Just don't do it. There's literally trash cans everywhere around here. Just take your trash. Leave less than you found, pick up a couple pieces before you leave, even if they're not yours. You are allowed to fish right here as well. They've got the fishing pier up here. And then they also have the cleaning station for your fish right here as well. So they've got the pavilion areas where you can grill all of these areas. You can sit, fishing, cleaning stations, and then they also have the restrooms. And they're actually really clean. So they've got two regulars, one that is um, the handicapped. Now, I will say, people can actually see in, so, you know, use the handicapped one with caution because there is nothing in front of it. But always got soaked and it is really clean. They're in here quite a few times actually cleaning. As you know the drill, we always gotta go over the rules, you know, and regulations of everywhere we go. So some of them, you know, make sense. Sometimes they're a little bit stupid, but let's just see what this park actually has to say. Okay, so the park is open from sunrise to sunset, except for boat ramps. Those are open 24 hours. The beach and playground closes at sunset. No alcoholic beverages permitted in the park. No glass containers on the beach. All motor vehicles shall remain on designated roads, roadways and parking areas. So you can't just pull off wherever you want and be a rebel. Speed limit is 20 miles per hour unless posted otherwise. All dogs, so dogs are allowed here, but they do need to stay on a leash. Drug-free park, y'all, crack kills, don't do it. General information, you can call 561-966-6600. 
and Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office is 561-688-3000. There you go. Not too bad. I mean, honestly, like, I don't know, kind of, you know, common sense rules. Don't do drugs. Don't bring glass on the beach because if it breaks and somebody steps on it, like, that's going to be bad. So, nothing too crazy. A lot of parking here, but I can guarantee you on the weekends, it's going to be packed out quickly. Um, at least that's what I've read. And people have also said, if you want to snorkel the reef, be sure to do it either early in the morning or in the evening. Park along the actual bridge. It's going to be your closest access. So if you have a board or you have a kayak, this is going to be the side you want to park on. And then once you get up to the sidewalk area, You'll see the showers, they have a cute playground for kids, and you just set up underneath the bridge. They do have a lifeguard tower as well. So this whole area, you'll see all of the dive flags. This is where the whole reef extends. Now, from what I've read online, um, it looks like it is not deeper than like six feet. So you will see people here with tanks, but that's because they want to stay down longer. Super accessible though, with just a snorkel. Okay guys, now I do want to remind you safety. So if you're out snorkeling, diving, get either one of these to let people know you are in the water, get a dive flag. You want to make sure that people can see you. There are people boating, there are people kayaking, there's people on paddle boards. You just want to make sure that they actually see you because sometimes when it's just your head above the water and a little snorkel, it's very difficult. So be sure that you actually follow the rules, practice the safety. It looks like they do have part of the area kind of buoyed off, um, but you can actually go outside of that as well. So if you plan on doing that, just make sure that you have the gear that you need so that you're following the law and you're safe. Look how gorgeous and clear this water is, guys. I mean, seriously, that is beautiful. Water is really nice and warm. It's probably about 78, so there is no shock factor at all when you get into it, but I mean, I'm not even kidding. Look at that. Look at the clarity of the water, y'all. All right, let's go take a dive. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird to know that this is salt water and it's not, you know, um, a freshwater river. So you do have to make sure that you're paying attention to the current and I'm I'm honestly trying to figure out where the reef is. <laughs> um, so I see a big group of people congregating over there. We're gonna go check that out and see if that's where they're all at.
my gosh. All I could say is, <laughs> wow. I mean, wow. The colors of these fish is just incredible. And the jellyfish, like, oh my gosh. It's so, <sighs> this is an experience you definitely need to do. So I'm going to go to the other side and see if there's more down here. Because I believe it stretches out quite a way. So let's go take a peek.
I have to say, I have to say this place is incredible. I just, and it's huge, like, there is so much to see. So, let's go over pros and cons, because, you know, not a real review without that. The cons are going to be a little bit different. I'm just, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, there's not really like con cons for this place. It's that amazing. But here we go anyways. We're going to start with the cons. So depending on your personal preference and you, a con may be that this is in salt water. And when I say that, I mean, you know, there's lots of other creatures in salt water, so you do have to be aware of sharks. You've got to be aware of jellyfish and stingrays and other things that you can encounter in this area. Even the reef sections that are more shallow, you do have to be aware of that. So that can be a con for some people. For other people, they absolutely love it. So, like I said, it's, you know, kind of a con, kind of a not. It's just going to depend on your personal preference. The other cons. So, I can definitely see how this place would get packed out on the weekend. Um, you know, that can be a con as well for some people. If you can actually visit here, just take a day off during the week and come here on a weekday when it's not as busy once summer is done you know, it's going to be a much better experience. It's not as crowded. There's not as many people. It also probably is going to have much better clarity in the water because there's not so much getting kicked up from divers that are down below with their fins. Also, con is it is under construction. So, you know, there are areas you do have to deal with the construction. There's areas of parking that are shut off. There's some bathrooms that are closed some other areas, you know, over here that they're repairing up over in this area. That can be a con to some people because it takes away from how much is available. Now let's get to the pros. I mean, y'all, did you see? Did you just see? <laughs> like, I don't even know how to put it into words, the pros on this. It's, this place is like another world. Like, it's phenomenal. Swimming that close to jellyfish that are that bright pink, the bright tropical colored fish that were down below. I mean, it's just amazing. Plus the fact that Peanut Island is literally right here, so you can paddle to it. That's gonna be a whole separate video. That place was 
Oh my gosh, it's it is phenomenal. That it's a it's another bucket list item, let me tell you. So the pros also, there is a Publix right down the road. I would suggest hitting Publix up for your pub sub or something to eat or just bringing a cooler with you so you're not having to leave. And I didn't have a problem today because it's, you know, a Friday. Um, and so it's not very busy on the weekend. I probably would not leave my parking spot and go to Publix, but um, plenty of parking at the Publix. They don't have open parking. It's in a parking garage, but there is plenty of parking there. And it's literally, you go across the bridge and it's the first light after you cross over the bridge and it's right on the right hand side. So, you know, that's also a pro. There is a grocery store nearby. So if you do find that your ice is melted or you forgot something, they actually have a ton of stuff in there. They even had masks, they have snorkels, they have towels, like that Publix has a lot of stuff. So that also is a pro. Another pro is really clean bathrooms and a play area for the kids and showers throughout this area, which is really nice because like I said, salt water, you want to make sure that you rinse off yourself. You want to make sure you rinse off your gear, your cameras, whatever you're using because you don't want that salt water to sit on it. So that is nice as well. And it also, let me tell you, one of the biggest pros is the fact that the beach area is underneath this humongous bridge and you literally can be in the shade most of the day if you want and just get in the water when you want to get in the water. Um, that will bring us back to a pro or a con depending on your personality. The water temps are much warmer here, you know, 80 degrees, that's, that's pretty warm. So for some people it's going to be too hot, but for other people who don't like that cold water and they don't want that shock of getting in, you're not going to have any type of shock in this water at all. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you get a chance to come here because let me tell you, Oh, it's so worth the trip. It, it, it's seriously like so worth the trip. It doesn't even matter where you live in the United States. This place is worth the trip. So let me know if you all have either been here or if you're planning on coming, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Until then, get outside, make some memories and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.